hello there this is derrick and welcome back to the channel so in today's video i'm just going to be sharing with you a review of mac os big sur 11.3 so if you are new here consider subscribing don't forget to like this video share to anyone you think this is going to be helpful to them and without further ado i'm just going to dive into the video so first i'm going to talk about air tags so air tags are new devices that have been brought by apple and right now it supports mac os big sur and you can just use AirTag to just track your devices or anything in your home, being your key, your wallet, backpack, or even your phone. When you just attach the AirTag to your device, you can just use it and track it. Probably maybe you might leave it somewhere, misplace it, and you can just track it with the AirTag using your Find Mine on your phone or any device you have Find Mine on it. So I think that is one cool device. And then with this update, it supports it and you can just purchase it and then try it out. So this new update, Mac OS 11.3 allows all M1 MacBooks to just run iPhone and iPad apps on the devices. So I think that is basically very cool. So you can now run either Clubhouse or any other application you think is not compatible for Mac OS initially. You can now run them on your MacBook and you can just even play games, iPhone games, iPad games. You can do anything you feel like you want to do on your M1 machine. And that is one nifty update or feature I think apple has added and i think it's going to be very helpful because sometimes you want to just play games with your phone on a bigger screen and with this mac os it's just going to allow you to play your mobile games on your macbook and that is basically very cool so i think all y'all who have the m1 macbooks can just update to 11.3 and then just try this out and you guys are just going to testify whether it's very cool or not so another feature that has been added to this new mac os is a lot of emojis that have been added you can see right here you can just choose between these emojis that are new emojis and you can just try out you can see a woman now with the beard emoji that is very very funny though because it's rare you know putting this out here it's kind of rare but you also have the chance to see this burning heart and then this heart right here i don't know if this one is new this heart right here is new but for this it's new so i think apple has added a lot of emojis that are going to be very very helpful for us in order to make our chats and very very entertaining so i think this new update it's worth it and y'all just need to try it out and again in this new update apple brought to us a very cool feature with music and what happens is when you're probably maybe playing hip-hop and then it's a playlist of hip-hop songs when it gets to the end of the playlist it will now suggest other hip-hop songs that are related to whatever you are listening so if maybe you are listening to reggae and your playlist is a reggae playlist you are doing and at the end of the reggae maybe you are far away from the phone or maybe you are asleep it's just going to suggest or play similar songs that are related to whatever song you are playing and again it gives uh, the chart for top songs by cities and then by countries and that is basically very cool i think that is one nifty update because right now you can just check in between countries and then you can check which music or which song is on top of the chart right here and you can scroll through to see and then you can see city by city and you can just check out and pick which one you want because sometimes maybe you might be wanting to just listen to songs from other countries and this one is also going to give you the chance to just know which artist is just trending at the moment in any country you feel like you want to just know so i think there is one nifty feature too apple has just brought to us and it's worth trying and y'all should just update this os because i don't lie about it i'm already liking it after i just updated it so this is very cool and yeah it needs to be tried out and again in this update podcast is also doing the same like music is doing because you have been presented to see the top charts podcasts by cities and then you can just tend to even download any podcast you feel like you want to download and that is basically very cool you can just download it and you can customize it play how you feel like you want it to play and that is one cool thing or one nifty feature apple has brought to us because initially you don't have the chance to just even download it or save it right here in order to just play it later you just have to listen once and for all and if maybe you want to just listen again you come back and then you listen from where you are but now you are entitled to just download it right here or save it and then that is basically very cool so i think when you check here to top charts you can see the top charts podcasts that are trending at the moment and you can just listen to any of them you feel like you want to listen and that is very cool so apple has really brought a lot of things and i think as time goes on there are going to be a lot of cool updates we are going to like and when you check right here you can see the saved podcast you have saved right here and you can see the downloaded ones you have downloaded right here which you can listen offline so i think this is very very great and y'all need to try it out so in macOS 11.3 
Safari has its own customization where you can just now customize the home page right here and make it look like how you feel like you want it. And one of the nifty feature I really like about this is when you just click on edit right here and then you scroll down, you can now use voice recognition in order to just speak out and then Safari is just going to open your page for you. So maybe if I just hit right here, start dictation and then I tap on it and I say maybe facebook.com. So you tap on done when you're done and it's just going to open Facebook for you and you are good to go. That is one of the niftiest thing I think I really like about this update they brought to Safari. So it will be reading everything you feel like you want to read everything on the page. When you hit on speech after you have opened the page, it's going to read everything for you and that is basically very cool. So that is how Safari is being updated and that is one of the niftiest thing I think I like about Safari. I think Apple has noticed that Safari was being left out with um, Google Chrome and then Mozilla just still in the show so the up their game this time around and I think I'm really liking Safari and uh, it's probably might be my default browser lately so if you like the feature I just showed you right now so you can just comment below and then let me know what is on your mind and what do you think about it too so another update that was brought to us is reminders where you are now going to be able to just tap on this side and then see the reminders for the day and initially we were not having it like that and now you can also sync all your devices probably maybe you have an iPhone you have an iPad you can just sync your devices and then all your reminders are going to pop up whenever you just open reminders you're going to have your reminders which are on your iPhone right here and then if you have an iPad too it's going to be right here so I think that is one of the cool updates that reminders brought to us in this Mac OS 11.3 so this just got better and in this update you can now connect your ps5 controllers and your xbox x and xbox s controllers to your macbook and you are good to go you can play any game you feel like you want to play apex legends fortnite grand theft any game you feel like you want to play you can just connect your ps5 to your macbook and then you are good to go you can play the games without no glitching without no problems this is very cool because a lot of people are thinking macbooks cannot play games so apple has done a great thing adding this controls feature right here for us to just connect our ps5 xbox controllers to it and then play games so if you have a ps5 controller i feel like you have a game and you want to play on your macbook you can just try it out right away after upgrading or updating to mac os 11.3 so after this update, anyone who uses the M1 MacBook is going to be able to hibernate their MacBook. So you all need to try it out so that you'll be able to just hibernate your computers when you're not using them. And that is basically very cool. So one of the coolest things Apple added again to this update is new voices for Siri. So when you check on Siri right now, you can see we now have options for Australian, Irish, South African and Indian. Initially, we had access to British and American and Apple has added four different new languages to it for us to just speak in between the ones we feel like we want. So you can try it out when you update your MacBook to this new OS and I think you're going to like it because I'm already liking the new voices I'm seeing right here. So with the final thing I want to share with you now, when you hit on your about of your MacBook and you click on service, you can get to see your warranty status of your MacBook. So when you check right here, you can see my coverage has expired. And this is because my MacBook is very old. It was manufactured in 2018. So I think warrants covers for mostly a year. So you can see right here that my coverage has expired. So maybe when your MacBook is very new, you can check out and then you see that your warrant might not be expired if it's new or it might be valid if it's new. So these are all the features or the new updates on Mac OS Big Sur 11.3 and don't forget to subscribe to the channel because any upcoming updates that is going to be coming, I'm just going to come at you guys and then let you know whatever it's in the new update. So stick around. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Like this video. Share it to anyone you think that is going to be helpful to them. And without further ado, I'm just going to catch you in the next video. Peace.